Whenever human beings are afraid, we default to living small, fearful lives. You know, if you get rejected enough times in dating, think about how many people you know are jaded. Like, screw it, I'm not gonna date anymore. Or imagine if you tried so hard to improve your career and get that raise and you're breaking your back for your team or your boss and you don't get it. Well, screw it, why would I work that hard, right? Like, I'm killing myself for nothing. Or what if you really, really, really wanna be in a relationship? But no matter what you do, every guy or every girl keeps rejecting you, the ones you really like. I like, I'm hopeless. Maybe it's never gonna work out. But I wanna share in this video why this year should, if anything, be the year of more, not the year where you settle and go for less. What's up, you guys? Alex Hine, author of the book, Milk the Pigeon, a field guide for anyone lost in their 20s. Now, I have a very exciting announcement. Below this video, I'm reopening my course, Alive Business Mastery, which is exactly how I built my brand online. Now, there's a free 30-minute audio podcast episode where I talk about building the life you want through building the business you want that is free. You go below this link, below this video, check it out there, but please only join that waitlist if you are interested in joining this program. So making decisions from fear is basically making a promise to live a small life. You know, like years ago, I could have basically been like, well, am I going to upload YouTube videos in the public for people to see my face, my pimples, my wrinkled collar, my huge nose? What are they going to say to my content? Does it suck? Is it good? You can clearly see, right? If I decided, you know what? Fear is more important to me than living an exceptional big life, going for more, what I really want. If I did that, I never would have uploaded a video on the internet. I never would have written a book. I never would have written a page of a book. I never would have coached a client, answered an email, gone to get a doctorate, bought a one-way ticket to China. I never would have done anything that has made my life so exceptional and meaningful to me if I had listened to the voice of fear and reason. Now, have you ever said, you know, oh, well, I don't, I don't really need that. I'm not really that interested in her or I don't really need to make six figures. I don't care about money that much. Well. Have you ever said that, like in a dating or money context, but deep down, you really were into that person and you were just saying it because you were afraid and you didn't want your friend to be like, well, go, go talk to him, go talk to her, what are you doing? Or, well, then what are you doing? Like, then get that job and find a way to make your passion really financially successful. You know, we often tell ourselves these lies as if we're making a bargain with the devil for our soul, right? We make this Faustian bargain in a way that, okay, God, I won't have too many demands in my life. You just give me a peaceful, happy life. No, I won't complain. I just want to have good friends, a good enough girl, no headaches. And we make these weird bargains with our own psyche. I won't ruffle too many feathers if you just let me please have a decent life. But does that ever really work? Your soul, your psyche is going to say whatever it wants to say. And if it's not happy, then it's not happy. You could sell it logically all day long, but it doesn't work like that. You know, so often we live these small lives, one, because we're afraid of, of course, afraid of failing, but we're also afraid of what the hell happens if I get all the things I've dreamed of. We're terrified of getting that dream person who intimidates us. We're terrified of having the ability to travel all over the world and live a full life. What will my friends think? What will my parents think? I'm so selfish. We're terrified equally of reaching our full potential. And yet that's exactly why you have to do it and demand more from life and not settle for less. So I want to leave you here today with this question, which is what would life look like for you if you did not settle for less this year, but instead you demanded more? What would your life look like? Would you start writing that book? Would you book that trip to that country you've always wanted to go to? Would you finally ask that person out or start dating and really go after people who are not in your league? Would you take that sabbatical and do the passion or the hobby or the thing you've always wanted to do? What would that really look like if you did that? Take the chance. Now, if you guys want, of course, I have that 30 minute free audio below this podcast episode, how to build your dream life by building your dream online business. And that will add you for the wait list for my online business building program. Now that's a premium course, so please don't join that list unless you're potentially interested in joining. Again, if you want more fire rants like this, check out my book, Milk the Pigeon, because I am hopped up like a hamster on meth, narrating this book on audiobook, and written as well, but audiobook especially. All right, you guys, that's all I got for today. Today, I want you to comment though, 
Let me know what is the thing you would do, or what are the things if you demanded a life of war this year and not settled for less. Let me know there.